this is probably the worst lighting right now. That is the current view. And as much as I would love to have that in the background, I don't think that you'll be able to see me. I'll just sit on the sofa. Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Me and James have come to Sardinia. I always love vlogging when we're on a trip away just because I love looking back on them in the future. We are staying in an Airbnb and we are staying in particular in an area called Golfo Aranci, I think. I can't speak Italian, but that's the sort of area that we're in. And yeah, I think we got really lucky with this Airbnb. It is right on the seafront. There's a gorgeous beach right outside. Hello. Ciao. We got here yesterday. Our flights were really cheap. We flew with EasyJet and I think they were like 30 euros each way. I guess because we've come at like not peak time. We've just missed half term and it's like just before the peak season in the summer. We're here between the 4th and the 14th of June. So yeah, the flights were really cheap for that reason. I can hear the thunder. It is supposed to be stormy today, but we got here yesterday. We've hired a car. So we did have a bit of an issue with that, but that's fine. We've hired a car. We're in this apartment the whole time that we're here, but we're going to drive to different places, I think. Um, so literally what we've done today is we got up, we went into the little town. They had a market on this morning, which was really sweet. And then we just went for some lunch slash breakfast at a little cafe yes yeah that's the that's the main part of it over there the sea is just so blue and clear oh it's stunning just coming up to the local market what a gorgeous backdrop for a market for a focaccia with tomato and mozzarella. James has got carbonara. Oh, that looks so yummy actually. And then we went to the supermarket quickly and we've just got back here to put some stuff back in the fridge and then we actually realized that we didn't get water because you can't drink the tap water here. So we need to go back to the supermarket and get some water and we'll get a few other little like snacky bits as well. And then we're probably gonna head down to the beach, I think, but there was some rain yesterday when we arrived. I think there's supposed to be a little bit more rain this afternoon and maybe a thunderstorm, but then I think it's supposed to be pretty clear for the rest of the week, so yeah. Very excited to be here. We've never been to Sardinia before. Literally just saw it on Instagram, thought it looked stunning and booked a trip. We did end up walking to the little supermarket and just got a few extra bits. Then there was some thunder and lightning. To be fair, we've not actually seen any rain over this area, but it definitely looks like it is raining over there somewhere. And I don't know if you can see, literally just here, somebody's getting married like right on the beach which i feel so gutted for them that there's thunderstorms and everyone was i think told to get out of the sea because it started like lightning literally like right over here but yeah i guess you can see a bit of the sun coming through over this side but yeah it's a bit stormy so we've decided that today might be a good day to go into Olbia and just have a little look around it's about 20 minutes from here um just because we thought you know if we're gonna be going somewhere in the car and somewhere that's a bit sheltered from the rain i think there's like a few shops there that we can have a browse around and then we'll stay in Olbia for some dinner because there's some nice restaurants and then we'll probably come back here and play some cards so that's the plan we're off in the car i'm driving wish me luck <laughs> james did a pretty good job the other day at driving on the way here from the airport first time yeah, um, first time. The, uh, right side of the road. Strange. Yep. It was very strange. strange. I mean, obviously I did it with Ellie in America, but that was kind of different because the roads are really wide in America. Whereas around here, they're really not. Oh my God, I think I just saw more lightning. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're off into Olbia. Wait, hey, where do I go? <laughs> What's left here, apparently? How am I doing? You're doing good. Ooh. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Out of gear. <laughs> you in fourth? Yeah. You're in, why are you in fourth at 30 kilometers an hour? <laughs> This looks absolutely unreal. Look at that steak. We just went for the most delicious meal for dinner and we had a little wander around Olbia and it's currently the most beautiful sunset. Just before we leave to drive back, I thought I'd give you a little, a little shot of the area because it's stunning. Oh my God, this is absolutely stunning. Look at the sky and the reflection in the water as well. Wow. I know, how gorgeous. And you can see over there in the distance, there's mountains. Oh my God, my plaster. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday today. We got here on Sunday. Last night, we had an amazing meal. We went to a restaurant. Wait, let me just find the name of it. We went into Olbia 
and the restaurant was called it was called don carlos in olbia and oh my god it was so delicious if you like steak highly recommend it it was quite expensive though i mean it is a steak restaurant they usually are a bit more expensive but we just fancy something a bit different for some reason james had in his mind that he wanted a steak i was like james we've come to a fisherman's village in Italy, but James doesn't actually like fish. I mean, he likes calamari, that's about it. So he really had it in his mind that he wanted to get some steak, but there isn't really anywhere around here that sells steak that was open, because like I said, we're in a fisherman's village and the only restaurants nearby are fish, pizza, or pasta. And on our first night, we had, oh my God, the most delicious pizza and mine was seven euros james's was eight euros fifty i had tiramisu as well which is my favorite dessert in the world and oh my god that meal was so good if anybody is thinking of staying in, the, in this area in the future let me just tell you what that restaurant was called because it was absolutely delicious unbelievable and so affordable we had a starter two pizzas james had a beer i had a coke and then i had a tiramisu and the whole bill came to 39 euros which you know if you compare that to back home that is so much more affordable by the way if you're wondering why my hair's looking like this i slept with it in these like rope braids the front bits have all come undone but i'm hoping that i'm gonna have nice wavy hair but yeah yesterday evening we just had our meal in olbia we wandered around the town a little bit and then we drove home i didn't get any footage of the shopping center just because it was quite small but we just wanted to have a little wander around because it was raining and then yeah we drove and parked in town we parked down one of the side streets we were able to find a space which was good parallel parking though in a rental car was um a little bit tricky maybe i should have got james to vlog that but today the reason i'm sat here i've got all my makeup in front of me i'm about to film a get ready with me on tiktok so if you want to see how i did my makeup on holiday i mean it's literally going to be the most basic thing ever because we're having a beach day today and you're probably thinking so far you putting on makeup to go to the beach um because my skin isn't doing very good at the moment and i feel a bit self-conscious about it so um i'm gonna put on just a little bit of makeup and hello <laughs> i'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup and then we're gonna go to the beach which when we got our rental car the guy behind the desk said oh you're staying right next to one of the beaches where they shot the little mermaid film which we were like wait what because obviously we booked this trip ages ago and the little mermaid film wasn't even out yet i've still not had a chance to see it because we were so busy last week the week before we went which is the week that it came out and we didn't have a chance to go to the cinema and see it because i was like prepping content for while we're away um, and just also had so many other things going on so yeah we didn't have a chance to see it but as soon as i get back from this trip we are going straight straight to the cinema and watching that film. <laughs> Apparently a lot of it was filmed in Sardinia. Most of it was filmed in the northwest of the island, I think, in one of the towns sort of like near the very top. Um, but we are in the northeast, but some of the scenes were filmed at a particular beach that's literally in the area that we're staying in. So we're gonna drive down to, I think you can only get so far in your car and you have to walk the next 20 minutes, which is absolutely fine. So we're gonna do that today and I can't wait. I think it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna get myself ready, film a TikTok and I will catch up with you in a bit. I can see why they use this location for The Little Mermaid because it is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Also, there's people kayaking over there. We really want to do that, but the water is so blue. It looks like we're in Jurassic World or something. <laughs> Stunning. Crazy. I don't know if this railway track is still in use. <laughs> I'd imagine it isn't. Or well, maybe it is. I've got no idea, but there's a rail track this way. And we just parked in a car park down that end. And then I think the walk to the little beach is about 20 minutes, but it's a beautiful walk to do. Lizard. <laughs> I feel like actually on my camera it doesn't even come across how blue the water is. It looks better on my iPhone, but turquoise. <laughs> yeah, there's a little beach down here. There's a little beach around the other side, just around here, where we've just spent a couple hours, and we're gonna head back now. To dinner. Give it a go. Just got back from dinner. We went to a restaurant called Sapore 53, which was in our recommended book from our Airbnb, which is really helpful actually. They've got like a whole list of places to eat for dinner, like cocktail bars, sandwich places and stuff, which is really, really helpful. And we went there today and had pizza again because <laughs> we haven't had it since our first day here. And oh my God, the pizza was absolutely delicious. It was on par with our first night here. Both pizzas on our first night and today, well, for me anyway, my pizza was seven euros, which is what, like six, five or six pounds, which is incredible. And 
nicer than any pizza you will ever have in England. Like it was just so delicious. We tried the traditional Sardinian dessert, which is like cheese with pastry, like melted cheese with pastry, honey and lemon, which is kind of similar to, I think it's saganaki in Greece, which is basically like deep fried feta or like sometimes feta in a pastry with honey. This is kind of like their equivalent. Very, very similar, but just with like a hint of lemon and a different type of cheese. It wasn't my fave. James enjoyed it. James ate most of it, but at least we tried it. We are now going to sit and chill and play some cards, I think we might. I don't know whether to sit out on the balcony. The only thing is, if we sit out on the balcony, I'll probably get bitten alive by mosquitoes. We do have some bug spray, but I don't always trust it because I always get bitten really badly. So I'm not sure. We might sit inside and play some cards, play some bananagrams. The area that we're staying in, Golfo Aranchi, it's not very busy at all. It's very, very quiet. I don't get the impression that there's a lot of tourists. At the moment, I'm guessing their peak time is probably obviously like July and August. Well, I'm assuming they open up in the summer, but there's quite a few like bars and restaurants that are closed at the moment. Um, so there's not too much going on in the evening. So when we're staying local, we've just been like going for dinner and then coming back here and playing cards. But on Thursday, we've actually booked a kayaking tour, which is really fun. It's just for the morning. And I think it's like a kayaking dolphin tour, which I'm really, really excited for. Then Friday, we are gonna go into San Teodoro, I think it's called. They've got a night market there. They've got some nice beaches. There, obviously we'll have some like probably more lively stuff going on in the evening because they have the night market. Food is great, it's been a really good day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Also it is definitely raining over there somewhere. When we're walking back, we could just see this huge gray cloud and tons of rain in the distance. So hopefully that blows over and we don't get rained on tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We are currently on our way to the beach. We are going to a beach called Biagia Bianca, which is apparently just a white sand beach. Looks absolutely stunning. And we're just driving down to it now. It's actually pretty close to where we're staying. And even just the views on this drive are so beautiful. Everywhere you go on this island, you can just see the sea pretty much, mountains and greenery. It's very pretty. This is the best invention ever. We're just sat chilling on the sea swing. James is getting his snorkel. The water is so clear. James is currently snorkeling over there. And he just keeps coming up to me with all the things he's found in the sea. He's just brought me over a pink fire shell. Oh, this looks delicious. Mm. It's been for dinner and gone to get some gelato. We've gone for two scoops of stracciatella, I think it's called. And it's milk and oh chocolate. my God, it is so delicious. I'm very happy right now. What do you rate it out of 10? Eight. 8.2. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so sunny. Hang on a sec. Good morning, everyone. We have just come down to the car park where we were at the Little Mermaid Beach the other day because we are doing some kayaking, which is very exciting. It's currently about half nine in the morning and we're going to do this kayaking dolphin tour. Fingers crossed we'll see some dolphins, but it's not guaranteed. And yeah, we're going to do a bit of snorkeling. I've got my waterproof phone case. I got this in one of the shops yesterday because my one was broken. And yeah, luckily they had one. So I'm going to try and get some footage and I think it'll be really fun. Oh, and I'm not by myself. James has just gone to get a ticket for the car. Yes, you got it? No, no, uh, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's ready, yeah? Yep. We're on the sea. How you feeling, James? The sea is so clear. It looks like a swimming pool. Whoa! Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Are you alright, steering? Can you see him, James? Okay. 
This way, or they might go the other way because both boats are now like getting really close to them. Oh. It's a pelican. Actually, I don't think it is a pelican. A heron. They're just waiting for their fish. Wavy. <laughs> the little birds. Looks like a penguin. Definitely not a penguin. Well, this looks like something from the whole thing. Oh, wow. Hello, everyone. I am freshly out the shower. Got my little roller in. We had the most amazing morning doing the sea kayaking. We literally booked it on a whim the other day because uh, we, we wanted to book a boat trip. I wanted to do a dolphin one. James wanted to do some snorkeling and we were looking at different trips. And then when we were at the beach the other day, the one that's kind of like the Little Mermaid beach where they filmed some of the scenes, we saw some people around that area that were kayaking and we were kind of thinking, oh, that looks fun. Like, I bet that'll be sick. So I had a little Google, found the kayaking company literally on Google, didn't even go and speak to them. You could book online on their website. So we just booked it and didn't even have to phone anyone, didn't speak to anyone. It had all the information there. It was 49 euros per person. It was half a day and we basically drove down there this morning, got on our kayaks. You start the kayaking in the kind of protected fishing area. Basically, apparently there's a couple of groups of dolphins that are regulars in the area but obviously because they're they are wild animals and they're not contained they can go wherever they want so they said you're likely to see dolphins because they like to stay within this area but it's not guaranteed that you will see them so obviously we would have loved to see them and we were excited at the idea of seeing them but we didn't bank on it you know and yeah we got to see dolphins and they were doing flicks in front of us which they said was quite unusual and they only really do that when they're playing and it's quite unusual to see it in person and i also got it on camera because we saw the dolphins coming and i was like I'm gonna get my phone out james was doing the steering i was sat at the front i used my waterproof phone case and i'm so glad that i did and it was such a cool moment so that was absolutely amazing and then we stopped off at a little beach and did some swimming did some snorkeling saw a starfish which was pretty cool saw some fish and then we got back in our kayaks and then we pulled up to another little beach where they got out some snacks they got out some italian sausage some cheese some little like um i think he said it was like deep fried pasta like crisp things which were really good and some iced tea some beers had another little bit of a swim chilled found some shells on the beach and then we kayaked back to where we were and it was just such a fun morning so that was well worth doing and i'm so glad that we booked it because we both agreed that going on the kayaks was actually a way cooler experience seeing the dolphins than on like a big boat because the big boats were kind of like scaring them away <laughs> whereas on the kayaks we could get like you know relatively close to them i mean i'd imagine they're probably quite used to the boats in the area because they didn't really seem like they were scared of them they were just like right next to them and stuff but on the kayaks obviously we could just like silently watch them and it, it was really really cool we had some lunch um i had to lie down for a bit actually because i was getting really really bad cramps which was literally like the worst timing ever um but james made me a little diy hot water bottle by just putting some like hot water 
in a plastic bottle, wrapping it in a towel, and that actually did wonders. I took some paracetamol, and I'm feeling a lot better, so I went and showered, washed my hair, and I'm just gonna redo some of my makeup for this evening. What I've realized is that on holiday, my makeup just generally looks better when I do a lot less. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna put on, I think, a little bit of, mm, actually, I don't know, because I was just wearing a tiny bit of concealer and waterproof mascara and setting spray this morning, because I didn't want to put on, like, anything around my eyes, because I knew I was going to be snorkeling, but I just wanted to, like, cover up these mostly. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of foundation. So all my tan has pretty much now come off. I've still got some left on my arms, but, like, on my neck and my face, everything seems to have come off. I think all of my foundations are my tan colour, but, oh well. Put on a little bit of this Urban Decay foundation, which I love. Also, oh my god, I told this story on my Instagram, but just in case anybody doesn't follow me over there or you didn't see it, I put it on my stories. Yesterday when we were swimming at the beach, James had gone in the sea to go snorkeling and I was trying to get in the sea, but it was really, really cold. So I was like slowly making my way. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna go join James. I'm gonna go have a swim in the sea. Swam all the way up to him. Uh, he looked fully engrossed in his snorkeling. And I was wondering why he wasn't like looking up at me. I was thinking, surely he can see me under the water that I'm approaching him. But he didn't lift his head or anything and was just, just carried on snorkeling. And so I swam right up to him and eventually he lifted up his head and had like the big snorkel mask on and everything. And so I gave a big, like, cheesy grin, like, mm, hello. And then I had a man looking back at me that looked very confused. And at that point, I realised that it was not James. And it was some random man that I had just gone up to. So I'm up to in my bikini and, um, and acting like I knew him and, like, swimming right up to him. So that was really embarrassing. And then I just swam off and then saw James in the distance and was like, ah, oh, shit. So I will not be doing that again. If I see James snorkeling in the distance, I'm not going to approach him unless I know 100% that it's him. But I swear, this man literally had the same head shape as James, the same haircut. He had a snorkel covering his entire face. So how was I supposed to know it wasn't him? So that was nice and embarrassing. And I think tonight, even though we had... Actually, no, we didn't have pizza yesterday. Yesterday we had pasta which was in like a very small kind of home cooking restaurant and it was absolutely delicious. But the place that we went to yesterday, James was really, really fancying a pizza again. And it said on Google that it was a, it did pasta and pizza. And I saw on Google they had a whole pizza menu. But then when we arrived, they gave us the menu and they didn't give us the pizza menu. So I don't know if maybe they weren't serving pizza. Maybe they only do it on certain days or something. But we then felt too embarrassed to be like, do you have pizza? So we both just ordered pasta and oh my God, my pasta was absolutely delicious. And also I really did want to try some pasta here because obviously Italy is known for having good pasta and pizza. We said that we would get pizza again today, um, but the pizza here is just so delicious and it's so cheap. So I'm very excited for that. Oh yeah. I bought a couple of different blushes with me because I wanted to switch up a bit. I bought these two. This one is a new one from Fenty, which I did um, like a Boots and Love Island ad, which I actually posted while I was out here. And one of the products is a new blush from Fenty, which is this crush on cupid shade actually i'm not sure this is a new shade i think it might be one of the older shades but i'd never tried this one before so it's new to me but it is such a pretty pink color so i bought that one with me and i bought this one from refi which i've not used in ages and it looks a bit gross because it's all battered but this is the shade malaya malaya which is a really nice like more neutral pink color um so i bought those let's just do a little bit of cream bronzer i am so nearly out of this and my backup is at home so i'm hoping that i don't run out of it on this trip Oh my god, it's kind of melted. Every time I apply this bronzer, I just get, I'm blown away by how easily it blends. And I don't know why it surprises me every day, because I use it most of the time. Oh my god, I think I just contoured my nose a bit wonky. Let's do the Fenty one today. If you don't need very much of it. Oh, it's just the prettiest pink. It is such a nice summer pink colour. Actually, I think this would be nice in the winter as well. It's quite cool toned. It's just so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna finish getting myself ready and then we're gonna go for some food. See you in a bit. Another day, another pizza. Good morning, everybody. Today it's a little bit more cloudy and it's quite windy actually. I was looking at some people on the beach earlier and all this stuff was blowing around all over the place. So we were gonna go to some beaches today, but I think we've decided against that. Well, we have decided against that, but we might go and have a little look at some. We're gonna drive to Porto Servo, which is about like 35 minutes from here. We'll probably go for some lunch, have a little wander around that area because it looks really nice. And then this evening, we're gonna go to the night market in San Teodoro. My shoulders got pretty badly burnt yesterday, even though I did have sun cream on, but then 
Um, I was gonna say like, I didn't think that my shoulders were really like under the water, but I guess they probably were and the sun cream wore off my shoulders and then I didn't reapply it and I was literally stood in the sun for maybe like 15 minutes and they got burnt, but luckily the rest of me is all good. But I'm just wearing this dress from Uniqlo, which I absolutely love. It also has pockets. So yeah, we're off into town. Oh my God, these roads are so windy. We've arrived in Porto Servo. We drove around looking for free parking. Literally every single place to park was full. So we've had to come to this underground car park, which is three euros an hour, but I reckon we'll probably only be here for a couple of hours anyway, because we just want to have a little wander around and go for some lunch. So hopefully it won't be too bad. We won't be here for too long. It is so beautiful. I don't know where we're going. Everything around here seems to be closed, but it's gorgeous. We've just come down to the port and it is very beautiful. It's a shame that the weather's a bit overcast, but look at these yachts. <laughs> Crazy. That is the biggest yacht I've ever seen in my life. So pretty. It is stunning. It does look stunning, doesn't it? This is the prettiest Prada shop I've ever seen. Lunch. It's raining. It feels like home. I was gonna take some pictures after lunch, but I think we missed the moment. It's still beautiful though. Oh my god, look at this! Oh no! Wow! That's mad. What a lovely view! <laughs> the sea looks so pretty! I just dipped my foot in it and then realised I do not have anything to dry my feet on so now my shoes are wet but it had to be done. We are playing a game of Monopoly. Look at the audacity of James to put a fucking hotel on every single one of these and I'm now bloody bankrupt. Your fault for selling me it. Should never have sold you that damn house. <laughs> I'm having a crisis. <laughs> Is it my go? No, it's my go. It's my go. Oh. oh, fuck it. I'm just going to add out. <laughs> <Just kidding>. no. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's just add our hotel onto it as well. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, the twisty turn events. James has just landed on one of those where he had to pay for every single house and every single hotel. Are you in jail? Oh, no, that's me. No, that's you. Let's see if I get out with this one. James has just lost all of those red ones. What's it say up here? He's only gone and bloody bankrupted me. No! Get in! How did we play that for get about three in. hours? It's midnight. <laughs> We've come for some lunch. James got pancakes and Nutella. I got pancakes, Nutella, and strawberries. Going through the tunnel into the beach. Wow. This afternoon we've come to a beach called Cala Sabina, which is absolutely stunning. The water is so clear. Actually, probably the most clear here than all the other beaches that we've been to. We're just gonna have a little sunbathe, have a little swim and a snorkel. We're just having a swim. James has made a fish friend that was swimming between his feet. <laughs> really looks like it's raining over there. I think we are approaching a storm. I look like I'm going exploring in the jungle. I'm just gonna catch up to speed with everything while I eat my tomato focaccia, which we just went and got from the supermarket. Oh my God. Look, oh my God, do you smell this? Mm. <coughs> Yesterday we drove to Porto Servo, which had this lovely idea of going down there getting some lunch, maybe like, I don't know, overlooking the sea or some water or in like a nice restaurant, then having a wander around, maybe like going to some local beaches. But we basically got there. It was very pretty. We had a little look around, although quite a lot of the shops were closed. And then we wandered around for ages trying to find a restaurant that wasn't ridiculously overpriced, which I know that it's one of the most expensive parts of the whole of Sardinia. It's where they have like super yachts and stuff, which we saw a whole bunch of super yachts, but we ended up just getting lunch in this cafe that was over the road. And while we were eating our food there, it started pissing it down with rain. We then walked back to the car in the pouring rain and then thought, well, you know, there's not really much we can do now because everywhere was sort of out in the open. There's not really anywhere undercover. We were like, well, we're not gonna go to the beach in the pouring rain. And there was four, uh, thunderstorms forecast. So we ended up just driving home. And then yesterday evening, they had the night market in San Teodoro, which I'd been waiting to go to all week. However, because it was still raining when we got back and there was predicted thunderstorms that evening and it said severe weather warning, we didn't go. Cause I think it's about 45 or 50 minute drive away. So we didn't end up going, which was such a shame. We went to a little local restaurant 
and then came back and played Monopoly. And then today we went to a beach, which was literally around the corner from us, which was absolutely stunning. And then just as we were leaving, we heard some thunder and it started raining. Is it still raining, James, or has it stopped? I think it's stopped no, now, it's actually. it's stopped, but if you look over in the It past, does look like it's, it's like gonna it's, rain again. Yeah, it like tip it down. Which is such a shame. And I think tomorrow is supposed to be our last day of sun. And then the last three days of our trip is just predicted to be raining and thunderstorming. So we're not really sure what to do because obviously there's not really that much to do. Like when you Google what to do in Sardinia in the rain, there's like a couple of museums and stuff, like a few shops that I guess we can go and visit. But there's a few beaches that I think we're not going to get to do. Um, we really wanted to do maybe another boat trip, go to a few beaches on the north side of the island. And there were a few more beaches locally that we wanted to visit, but I'm not sure we're going to get to do it, which is such a shame. But we had a lovely day today. This peach iced tea, by the way, is delicious. And I actually much prefer this. They have Lipton here, but this one is so much nicer. In a turn of events, we have come down from our apartment, which is over there. Oh, why is my camera quality so bad? We just decided to come for a swim. It actually feels really warm. Such a good look. That over there is where we went on our first day, second day. But yeah, you can see it from all the way over here. And we are just staying all the way over here. Can you believe that we've come this far out to sea and it's still only this deep? to go out for dinner. So I said that we, it was raining and that we weren't gonna do much this evening, but the sun actually came back out for a little bit. So we thought we'd literally just go down to the beach outside our apartment, which I don't even know if I've showed you yet. So we have a balcony. I probably have. Um, the balcony's here and then this beach is literally just down there. And we just went and had a swim and you can see people over there, right? It's really, really shallow all the way up to about here where you can walk in kind of like waist level, knee level at some points. I'm not gonna go shower, sort myself out. Oh my God, why does it look like I'm going bald? We are ready for dinner. I, this is the, literally the only mirror in this whole apartment. So I can't even really show you what I'm wearing without showing you the toilet. I'm just wearing this white skirt from Uniqlo. This top, which is a really, really old one. And then this shirt I got in TK Maxx. Let's go for some food. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you take a big old bite before I've started filming. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. I didn't bring my camera with me out to dinner, but I wish that I had because we just had the most beautiful meal at a restaurant and we've come out. And can you see this sunset behind me? It is actually one of the most beautiful sunsets I think I've ever seen. And it's reflecting pink on the sea. Like, what the hell? Our little apartment is just up there. This is where we were swimming before, but we just came for a little walk down here. Cause I was like, oh, I think there's a nice sunset. And look at that. It's like pink and orange. So pretty. This is my best look yet. We had a lovely meal tonight. It was quite expensive, the place we went to, but the food was so good. My pasta was delicious. It was like a, I don't know what kind of sauce it was. I think it was like white wine with a bit of cheese and a bit of olive oil and then a little bit of meat. It was so delicious. James had a pizza, then we had dessert as well. He had a chocolate cake thing. I had a tiramisu, obviously, because what else would I have here? And then we went down to the beach because there was a gorgeous sunset. Played two games of Monopoly, which James won again. And I've just put my hair up in my heatless color and I'm gonna go to bed now. See you tomorrow. Hello everyone. This morning we have just gone into town. We went and had some lunch and just had a little wander around. And now it is currently the afternoon. We're about to drive to San Teodoro because we realize that the night market is actually on every day and it's a really nice day today. So we're gonna go to the night market, but first we're gonna visit some beaches around that area. So that is the plan. I think what the first one that we're gonna go to, you have to walk like 20 minutes from the car park. Um, so we'll see how that ends up. Hopefully it's not too bad of a walk and it's not too dangerous. We just went for some food. I had another peony, James had a burger, just came back, had a peach and an ice cream. Good day. It is a really nice day. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's really, really hot today. This is the route that we're currently taking to try and walk to a little hidden beach, but you literally have to walk in the sea, climb over these rocks, and then we should hopefully get to a stunning little beach. Although all of these little coves are just as beautiful, I'd imagine. All I'm thinking right now is if my mum was here, she would not be doing this. She'd be like, nope, not going up there, we're going back. <laughs> Look at that mountain just popping through. We've just come to this little cove area, which literally looks like something 
from another planet. Like, does this not look like we're in Jurassic Park right now? The mountain, this over here. Like what? Mm. <laughs> wow. We just stopped at this little cove because there were people, there were quite a lot of people on the other beach and they looked like they were just like having a party. So we were, were like, okay, we'll leave and go over here. But we've literally just come back to this tiny little beach, which is just the two of us. There's my stuff on a rock and the water is so clear that you don't even need a snorkel to be able to see stuff. Like, can you see those fish there? Yeah, I don't even need to put my phone in the water because it is that clear. James, come here. Look at these fish. I don't even think it's coming across on camera, but there's a brown fish here. <laughs> I'm just taking a picture of this rock formation or a video because it's just so pretty. How does it get like that? Right, back to the car. Through all of these bushes and brambles and rocks, but it was worth it. Look at that view. I feel like this whole vlog has just been me saying, look at that view. James, this sky is like the northern lights being cloud form. What a stunning sunset. Shocking that we've gone to this beautiful little restaurant. having the most lovely evening in San Teodoro. That beach that we went to, I think we both agree, was one of the nicest beaches that I've ever been to in my whole life. It was a bit of a trek to get there, I'm not gonna lie. We have a few scratches and stuff on our legs because there was a few like spiky bushes and things and you had to scramble over rocks. If you are gonna go to that beach, which I will like list what it is on the screen, I would highly recommend only go if you have got like good enough knees and are pretty good with scrambling over rocks basically and going through a few like bushes but it was fine and it was maybe like i don't know 15 20 minutes of like a bit of an awkward path but once we actually got there it was just one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen so it's definitely worth it and then we went back to the car park that we parked in um it was a little car park and they had a porter toilet in there which i'm not gonna lie was the cleanest porter potty thing whatever they're called i've ever used as well which was great and so we got changed in there just got changed into this dress and then we went to the night market and oh my god i would highly recommend if anybody is coming to sardinia and you're wondering an area to stay after visiting san teodoro we both said if we come back here we will probably stay there because it was just so beautiful and there was so much going on you're close to beaches you're closer to some of the other beaches as well and it's only like i think 25 minutes from olbia so it's a pretty good location to stay and the night market was so nice they had live music we went for pizza which was really good in a little restaurant and yeah we got a few a few different things james's sister we got her these from this lady that makes everything in san teodoro with her family these are little scented things that go in your wardrobes and like in your clothes drawers that make your clothes smell nice and then for james's mom and dad because they've been looking after pinky for us and they always do so much for us and they're just the best same with my parents like honestly don't even know how we could both thank our parents enough and one small thing just isn't enough anyway we got james's parents this candle which is a oh i think we got the vanilla and orange one but it does say on here patchouli and dark amber but i think it was the vanilla and orange one that we got or maybe it was this one they both smell really nice to be honest um and it's by this brand ancient wisdom and it's concrete candles with soy wax we just saw these thought they looked really nice and james's mom loves candles and is always after some 
some new candles and everything was homemade they smelled really lovely we thought it looked really nice it has those kind of wicks in it that um like the bigger wicks and i think these are the ones that crackle oh yeah this is the uh i think vanilla and orange one yeah vanilla and orange it smells really nice thought it looked really pretty so we got that for his parents and then we were on the lookout for something for my parents however couldn't find something they would necessarily like we think there's some stuff in town that we might get for them there's a shop that sells like bowls and plates and stuff for the kitchen so we think we might get something like that either that or something food related and then for ourselves i got myself this necklace actually which i thought was really pretty this was 10 euros just thought it went really nicely with my other ones and actually i need to twist around my necklace that's really annoying me by the way if anyone was wondering this necklace is from regal rose the little angel one this one is in my what i got for christmas video and i can't remember the brand but james's mum got me this for christmas or james's parents got me this earrings are from hay harper they're the waterproof jewelry brand and then my rings are this one is clarity diamonds by amy uh this one is regal rose this little opaly moonstone one is also regal rose this one i got in skiathos and the one underneath this one i also got in skiathos last year that was all my jewelry um and i've just been wearing it in and out of the sea and it's all been fine finally before i go to bed the other thing that i got for myself we walked past this stool and i was just in awe all of his stuff was gorgeous and oh he's written his name on it he had made these hand carved stunning works of art lamps that are made out of dried pumpkins i got this small one they were quite expensive but i was like i cannot leave without getting one of these because wait let me just plug it in honestly if we had room in our cases and if i lived here i would have got one of the massive ones and like put it in the lounge because it's just beautiful I don't know if anybody can read this. I think, is this his company or is this just a little information? Oh, there we go. There's the information if anybody was after it. And I think that's the name of the lamp. And then this is the little lamp with the lights off. It has some carvings in it. He's written something on the bottom. And then I've just turned the light off so you can get the full effect. Is this not absolutely beautiful? I just thought they were the cutest things ever. And like the, the light that comes out of them and oh, I just, I don't know, I just fell in love. I was mesmerized by his stool. But yeah, I couldn't leave without one. It was just so sweet. And then you can actually change the bulb if you need to. There's two screws underneath, apparently. But look at the top of it. I just think it's absolutely stunning and such a unique idea. So when I get back to the UK, that is going to go on my bedside table. And it's going to be like a little nightlight. And I just, I absolutely love it. I think it is the most beautiful little thing. So I'm really happy with my purchases. Now in my spooky little candlelight, <laughs> I am going to go to bed. James has already gone to bed we've had a long day we're gonna go to bed good night we just went into town i went to the supermarket got a pizza focaccia which looks really yummy and james got this chicken sandwich we think not 100 percent sure what it is this is our lunch i need to redo my hair well hi everyone good morning um actually it's the afternoon when i'm filming this clip today we got up and we were really sad because it said on the weather forecast that it was going to be stormy from like 11 o'clock but then i guess the clouds blew over actually it kind of looks like it's maybe gonna storm a bit but we have had a lovely sunny morning we went into town and got some pastries from the local bakery which by the way delicious just went to pick up some pastries from the bakery and um, we're just sitting on the beach while well, i eat them how do you even eat it just it's take a so big old big. bite i think it's like a profit roll <laughs> mm. yeah this one looks like it has custard in it i don't know if it's going to be lemon or it might be lemon actually i'm gonna try a bit mm. Lemon. It's lemon. And then just got something for lunch, came back here, had a little wander around town, and we're just about to drive down to one of the beaches that we went to the other day. However, there is like a little hidden beach if you continue around a path. Not quite as intense as the walk that we did yesterday, but I think we're gonna go and do that and try and see if we can find this little beach and just make the most of the sun while we have it, because I think for our last two days, tomorrow and Wednesday, I think it's just gonna be raining most of the time. So we're gonna try and make the most of the sun while we can today. Looks lovely out there. And this evening, we might even come back here and go for another little snorkel around this area at sunset sort of time. Time. So that is the plan. For another paddle. Did you see it? Uh -huh. There he comes. There it goes. Wow. <laughs> we are off out for dinner. Closest I can do to showing an outfit of the day. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is hilarious. That's the biggest tea I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, this looks incredible though. Got some calamari and chicken. Yeah, that is a proper sunset. 
we just had a lovely meal vlogging on my phone because i left my camera back at the place but we had a lovely meal by the seafront and there's a stunning sunset and it's still so quiet like everywhere in the evening is just so quiet around here you can see some kind of bar up there that's quite cool it's the only bar in this area <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to narrate this because apparently I didn't do any talking but on our last day we decided to go back to the beach that we went to on the first day. We had literally just sat down and set our towels out. We've been there for about five minutes, looked up and there was this massive storm approaching. Like the biggest grey cloud I have ever seen and we could see thunder and lightning and then we had to walk back in it and it was actually kind of really scary. I think it probably will pass at some point though. Maybe. Oh, oh my oh, god. It's so cool. Actually, maybe I should have my phone out. Will it? Yeah, probably thank you. Strike my phone. Oh god, I'm scared. That was a big storm. You see that? Again, over the top. Well, we were down at the beach. We'd literally just put our towels down. You can see the nice blue sky behind me. But, uh. Why don't you just flip it off? It's stormy right now. And there is a massive. Holy shit. Thunder. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we are making our way back to the car. I think we're going to speed up now. Well, that was one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. We weren't it back to the car safe, but the, th the lightning was literally hitting like right over the sea next to where we were. That was very scary. I finally got my Italian gelato. Oh god, it's dripping. <laughs> this is so delicious. I'm so sad that this is my first one we've had a week and it's not our last full day. In a very fortunate series of events, the storm passed. And the sun is supposed to be out for an hour, so we just quickly come down to the sea where we're staying, the beach where we're staying, and go for a dip. James caught a fish in his bubble. night in Sardinia and we're actually going to dinner at the place that we went to on the very first night where we had delicious pizza we had a starter then which was like these dough balls with tomato and cheese then we had pizza then I had tiramisu and it was a lot of food so I think today we're probably just gonna do the pizza and if I can manage it which I I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. Gonna have the churma soon. That'll be our last meal. Well, not our last meal actually, because tomorrow our flight leaves late in the evening. I think it's at like half eight or something. And we have a full day. Like we have to check out of our Airbnb by 10. But we were thinking tomorrow we'll probably just drive into Olbia because we don't take our car back until we go back to the airport. So we're probably gonna have some lunch in Olbia tomorrow. Will it be another pizza? Who knows? Maybe it'll be pasta tomorrow. I'm hoping that we can get something a bit different. But um, yeah, we're off out for our final meal of the trip. Our final pizzas. Oh, you got a pretty good hand. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna laugh at this. Why is it seven seven? How is it seven 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 seven? You can put all of them down, by the way, because you have three of the same. Oh shit, do I do that? I would say it's pretty strategic. Lower. Almost. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Shit, how the hell am I got such shit cards? It's my this one. It's six. Because I've got nothing <laughs> higher than a fucking eight! Lower. Oh shit! <laughs> I had a four. Again! Huh? Goodbye, apartment. It's actually my first carbonara that I've had. Ooh, it's her holiday. So we drove into Olbia and then we drove to a few beaches that were nearby but it was super windy and there was a storm approaching so we didn't stay there for too long and as we were driving to the airport there was the biggest thunderstorm like thunder, lightning, huge grey clouds and we were like uh not sure our flight's gonna go ahead. It started torrential raining. I have never seen rain like this in my life like that was the heaviest rainfall I've ever seen so we were like oh, we have no hope like we are supposed to be flying in this weather and as it turned out our flight did end up being delayed but we were able to make it home that night however I would never book a late flight home again for this reason because we had nothing to do all day it rained most of the day and we were just very bored then our flight was delayed so if anything it taught us a lesson to book an earlier flight and not one at 8pm in the evening but hey at least I finally won 
the game of Monopoly. <laughs> Sorry for the terrible end of the vlog, but that was our trip to Sardinia. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and there will be another vlog soon.